Texans finally dropped their uniforms. We got four to react to and Cal and Hannah McNair join the show live in studio and they come with receipts. At least she does. Let's go inside the locker room. Yeah. Yeah. It's the locker room on YouTube. You know what it is. Let's get it. Hey, locker room. Yeah, we in the locker room. All right, so we got uniforms. We can officially react. Cal McNair, Hannah McNair joined the show. Uh, and my gosh, can't, Hannah wanted to smoke. She said she listened to the locker room yesterday, watched the locker room, stayed up late. She came with receipts. Uh, my thoughts on the home uniforms taken to task among other things be sure to subscribe like right along it is the locker room number one source for texans digital content about to head out to the party um out there at uh 713 music hall uh so be sure to come by say hi if you are out there let's start with the home uh uniforms i'm, I'm not a fan i i think it's way too similar to the old ones i actually think the color it, it, it is original i just kind of feel like that is past it's not something that is Craved will be interesting to see what the combinations look like. You can see Stingley uh, and Christian Harris going with the blue socks. Nico's going with the white. Are they going to be allowed to mix that up? I do think the access accessories can make the uniform. I mean, Stingley, it, it, it's hard for Stingley to look bad in a uniform. But as a whole, the home uniforms, thumbs down, uh, no bueno for, at least from my point of view, which take that uh, – uh, for what it is, uh, which might not be much, because uh, as as Cal and Hannah brought up, and I agree, uh, don't take fashion tips from your boy. Then we have the whites. I think these are going to end up being the uniforms uh, of this era. Uh, there's going to be some big games played in these. Uh, the the whites are sick. I, I like the combination. I like the possibilities. Uh, again, Stingley looking like a champ. You can see Will Anderson there. Uh, the whites. Probably my favorite. Then you have the alternates, which could go a number of ways. Uh, I think it's really just going to depend how they look on the screen. But but you have the reds here, which I, 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 the red was always a polarizing thing with old school Texans fans. Either you really liked the all red, the ketchups, whatever, uh, or you didn't. Uh, this is going to be just interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what the situation is, how it jumps on the screen. But the merchandise possibilities with the reds are bananas. Uh, then we have the uh, the other alternates, the one the, the one with the logo that I'm wearing uh, right now, uh, the other alternate, which if you wear it like J Jalen Petrie is right there, then you, you're, you're a notch above what those leaked models look like. I don't know what he was doing. That's that's not a good look right there. Uh, but if you're going to wear it like um, Tank Dell is with the red undershirt and the and the blue gloves and, and and glue uh blue cleats I, I think you're in good shape i don't know what jalen petrie was doing there that's kind of uh hopefully there's a little bit more to it uh when uh that goes down so those are the four uniforms what is your favorite uh be sure to uh let me know again i like the whites not a big fan of the homes i've seen people who like the homes i've, I've really seen every answer but the approval rating for the most part pretty high and i actually think the stanky one amy adam stank uh, stepping in, which we're about to hear Cal and Hannah basically confirm that she did. I actually think the stanky one did the Texans a favor in not letting them have more Columbia blue. I think this turned out pretty well, but let's hear from Cal and Hannah again. Hannah, uh, she wanted all the smoke, uh, and she wanted to uh, she wanted to take me to task with my distaste uh, for the home uniforms. Here's Cal McNair, Hannah McNair. Earlier today on In the Loop on Sports Radio 610, which you can hear 10 to 2 Central with myself, John Lopez, and Figgy Fig. Okay. All right, we're live in studio. Cal McNair, Hannah McNair in studio. She says she has receipts. I don't know what the heck that means. That can be dangerous. Uh, Cal and Hannah, congratulations on the uh, the uniforms. Congratulations on draft week. Congratulations on the vibes. How y'all doing? Fantastic. Pretty good. About 10 a.m. this morning. It's been pretty fun. Has All the it? text messages. How how have you enjoyed the whole process? There's been uh there's been a lot uh lot to it. How did y'all enjoy this process? It's like a lot of things where there's a whole lot of work behind the scenes for many many months. But uh, we uh actually that was fast tracking it, and then you get here and it all kind of happens all at once, and you go, "This is awesome" because it is awesome. It is a lot of work we did behind the scenes to get here and. It is awesome to be here, and, and um, we were seeing uh, the fans lining up at the stadium to get their 
Oh, yeah, I saw that this morning. Yeah, I, I saw that this morning. I don't think Landry will be lining up to see any uniforms. What'd you call them? Trash? No. Garbage? <laughs> they <laughs> suck. I said the home. I, I don't like the home oh, oh, oh. ones. I don't like the home. I don't like the home jerseys. I'm not a big fan. I like. I know you said like trash, yeah, garbage, I, I, bad the, job. The home, the home jerseys. I've got yes. you. I do, home jerseys aren't great. Aren't great. I do. I do not like the home jerseys. How do you really like? What do you think about the home jersey? I, I just, I just think they're too. I think they're too similar, and I actually think they're kind of like a little. You can tell Cal's glad I'm getting it because I, I bet he gets it at home. Down Grady from the other ones. I like the white ones and I like the alternates, but I do not like the home jerseys. I say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. What's y'all's favorite? Clearly, home jersey. You like the home jersey oh, best? Come on! I love the home jersey. So a lot of our yes. fans like the traditions mm -hmm. and like these things, and so we're we're hearing them speak and answering their. I think what their... we're hearing is Landry how Landry feels about you, babe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. yeah. I think I think that's right. A knife in the back. A knife no, in no. the back, and Landry. The, the color's different though. The color's different Friend though, right? Is loose. Yeah. The color's different though, right? Yes, it's, it's dark. Yeah, it's deep it, still blue. It, We've gone back to deep still blue. Yeah. yeah, it looked. It didn't look the the same. It looks like pretty significantly different too. The just it looks the same yet kind of different, a little bit darker. So Nike didn't make the deep steel blue color that we used to have, mm -hmm. and so it went to a lighter navy. Um, this color actually is the same as the Yankees navy. Okay, it's that deep dark deep steel blue. dark blue, yep. which is where we started. Yeah, Thank which is back, back in the day. Right. Uh, Yankees. Back in the day. All right. So let's. Let's get to some questions that we've been talking about here that you guys can Hold answer. on, speaking of colors. Yeah. So we went to a brighter red. Yes. The, the, very much a brighter red. And Which we're showing this, it. This red is a red from, where is it, babe? Ohio State. Ohio State. And so oh, when we okay. started okay. this, the Ohio this State. before mm -hmm. okay. we got oh, CJ. Oh, really? So that's right. Yeah. That's right. Before CJ, then CJ comes in. He Destiny. Goes, that's my color. That's yeah, that was pretty, pretty. You know, I have a prediction. I think that CJ is probably is going to be at least a top three highest selling jersey with this in the NFL. And I, I would actually be surprised. If and he, I, I think he's going to be top two one. and not two. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think he's going to be number one. You're so negative. I think he's going to be the top. I said top, <laughs> top two, not, not two, two means one. one. <laughs> top two, not two means one. I'm here for you today, yes. Landry. You're the winning or losing, buddy. <laughs> say right now. I'll take. I'll take. You're, you're losing. Yeah. I'll take. You ain't going to win. In this <laughs> you, 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 you're, you're not going to win. All right, so let's talk about the process uh, because uh, we've talked about this for a long time. You listen to our show. You understand that there, there were questions that we had. There was the leak that was the, – that, that Which Cal, one? Actually, yeah. the first one, Cal came out looking better than anybody in this whole thing but with the way that, that you responded. But though there, there were issues along the way. From the very start, H-Town Blue was a topic. It was a topic. Is how much is it going to be? Is it going to be, you know, a dominant color? Is it going to be a color at all or whatever? So set the record straight from the very start and, and to the point of what you have now. Yeah, so uh, is is, is, is H Town Blue about where you wanted it to be, or were you kind of hoping for a little more and then you all and then you adjust? So we heard that loud and clear from our fans. Yeah, they wanted H Town. They wanted H Town Blue represented. They wanted Houston represented. Mm -hmm. And so we worked with the NFL and there was some push and shove and we came to where we wanted where we could get to with the NFL. A compromise. Giving us a compromise mm -hmm. and a certain compromise. sort of a certain percentage <laughs> in the uniform. And I think our fans would like more. Yeah. And um we're probably in that same boat. But um, you know, we're working with our the the powers that be with the league can, and all that. You stuff. can tell like Hannah's not a big fan of the snake. I love the way you put that. So, that so was very, that was very, that was very, very good. The way you put that, <laughs> yeah. because I'm not, I'm not oh. quite, uh, Hannah, I'm, I'm not quite as tactful as he is, oh. uh, as you well know. Uh, yeah. yeah, like you put it very tactfully there that you reached a compromise and there was other things that you could do, uh, et, 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 et cetera. But what I've been saying, and neither one of you can answer this. Let, let me, let me make it a question. At what point in the process was it early on where other owners saw what you were hoping to get done? I think there was some talk. Um, I think even publicly we discussed that we were going to be able to use yeah. a, a different color than um, Columbia Blue. Mm -hmm. And so when that was released and we got approval to do that, that's when 
we started maybe there was some how did he back. put it uh give and take or something yeah, like that, that. <laughs> a lot of during, compromise yeah. yeah um and then it got to a point where they just said no you can't and then and then we then we compromised yeah, yeah. but what, sometimes what, i'm sorry Landry. what was the reason yeah like, what was just, the good yeah, yeah. Just they, what they, do you think? Uh, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Hey, I'm, I'm just I'm just asking. You know, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if that's I think we all know about. what we're talking we're about talking here. About and talking, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention her by name in the next segment. Amy Adams. Amy Adams. Well, this is this is one of the. You didn't say that. So yes. a lot of people say like you complimented me on my answer, saying mm -hmm. it was politically correct or whatever. Tactful. Tactful. Thank you. And so a lot of people say. Hannah is a spice to my tactfulness. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we were given that's something. I would say that's, that's accurate. I wanted to share with you because you've shared your sauce. Oh, yeah. I Someone you my made sauce. this and gave this to us. Oh, yes. Wow. See, Allison Condrens. Okay. Hot sauce. Oh, wow. H-Town. There you go. It's Cal Liente. Mexican ketchup. Okay. <laughs> now I know why you thought of me. <laughs> <laughs> this no, it's is hot sauce. sauce. I know. It's hot sauce. It says Mexican ketchup on the bottom. Uh, caliente. H-Town Caliente. Dude. Have this? Get your chips. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get it? Yes, go. that's yours. All right. Yeah. Do they have the copyright on it? I can add it to the OG line. Oh, we probably. Do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cal and Hannah it's McNair in studio. We're on. We're on YouTube uh, as well. Uh, we're rolling uh, pretty, uh, pretty deep. So, so where is the camera for you? Uh, the right camera's here, right here. Right here. So, so, right so you kind of got your shoulder right there yeah. to them. But yeah, there. It's right here and not on purpose. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Not. Not. Not on purpose. Uh, for sure. What has the last year been like for y'all? Because I, I was talking about it earlier today. I, I remember y'all kind of worked in the room at the draft party a year ago. There was excitement. I would say it was the most excited that the fan base had been in a few years, even before the draft. But where where y'all are at right now when it comes to the approval rating uh, as as a, as opposed to then? What has the last year just been been like? Do, do you take a chance to be able to look back at that and say, damn, this is this has come a long way very far. All of the getting through the mud and stuff, it was worth it. Do y'all do y'all take time to at least uh, enjoy that? Well, there's been a lot of change from yeah. last year, and sometimes you just have to stay tuned <laughs> to see what will happen. So um, it's been it's been a fun trip. And when we started the season, we really didn't know, you know, how we we're going to stack up with other teams mm -hmm. and see our team evolve like they did and play like they did and sort of confirm all of our hard work it was a lot of fun to see. But mm -hmm. you know what that means this year? What's that? Absolutely nothing. Uh, <laughs> hard o Cal. Okay, yeah. Cal. He's going hard o Cal. Hard o Cal. Hard o Cal. You, you yeah. got to. You've you been hanging around Nick with that big Nick energy. Yeah, big Nick energy. The hard o D'Amico, All that. It, it's it's been. Uh, it, it, the, the players are saying this too. So it's not just you saying. It does seem like the kind of the players, just the whole vibe. They're they're all kind of saying it really doesn't matter, which is. I guess it doesn't, but it, it's a little bit different, I would say. We do keep score, so and that's yeah. what really matters. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you something else that we had just on the uniforms that we've been talking about since y'all are here. What the mind that? What was the thought process? Uh, which one was going to actually be the everyday home versus the alternate home? Because my opinion, as I've said, I think I might have told y'all uh, uh, this off air, or maybe it's Greg Grissom. Um, I, I wish that that alternate home was the everyday home. I think that would have been a big, bold change. Could Which you, alternate home? The Which one alternate? with H on the... Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the alternate blue. The one, uh, that one. Yeah, the, the, that, that one, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's just me personally, uh, because I think then you could have the old uniform as the alternate and still have tribute to the classic look. So how did y'all decide... Don't you love us guys giving fashion no, advice? No, no, like, no, how, I how, take how, it from Figgy, but yeah. you do. <laughs> yeah, hey. Yeah, hey, well, I, hey that's, that's no, very no, true. All, I'm doing, all I'm doing is telling you what my opinion was. I'm curious. The question is, how did y'all weigh what was going to be what uniform? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Well, we heard again loud and clear from our fans. Mm -hmm. We love the logo. Don't yeah. mess with the logo. We want it on our uniforms, and so um, we heard that. Mm -hmm. And so that made it. But Landry everything. would say we listen to the fans too much. No, no. that's not. <laughs> yeah, he, he said that. too many fan councils, too many opinions. No, I said it's what hard. it produced is garbage. She's it's trash. <laughs> She's fake news to me. I tune into the receipt. locker room. I said it's. I said it's, I said it's hard. Receipts. I said it's hard always, to, to please always tune so many in the people. locker room. And, and apparently, you. <laughs> Just I mean, remember room. last time we were in here, you were talking about Han. I'm worried about you. You're going to be getting smoked. Little did I know it'd be coming from you. Oh. 
home. I was worried about Hannah being the one that if they lost, they took out the advice. I, I just don't like the homes. I don't, I don't like the home uniforms. That's it. I just want to take passion advice from this guy. No, just I wouldn't. What he's wearing today. No, I would not. I would not. I would not take fashion advice from this guy. This is actually pretty cool. This is cargo shorts. Ain't no cargo shorts. Not cargo shorts. Now she's flying on me. These are pants. These are joggers. Look at Hannah coming in here flexing on me with the fashion. She's firing, man. She's little firing. Drive by. Hey, got you. <laughs> so, what are y'all gonna do for the draft? Uh, are y'all just gonna just kind of relax? Are y'all a little bit more relaxed this year than last, or is it the same mindset? What What are we gonna do for the draft? Because there's obviously no party. So, what are y'all's plans? There are y'all gonna be well party. Friday? Well, I'm not not on Thursday. Not not yeah. for round one. For round one, what are y'all gonna do? We're gonna be in the draft room. We'll be in the draft room and. You never know what Nick's going to do. He may trade up. I said this last year. Yeah. He may trade up. He may trade down. Don't know. He'll take calls and see what happens and do, you know, again, it's a cliche, but he'll do what's best for the team. Yeah. Okay. It's going yeah. really to be exciting. And what happens in the first round, even if we're not picking there, influences the second. Are, are there going to be any, because obviously going to be in the Hall of Fame game, any changes uh, to training camp, whether dates or, or locales? Yeah, we're still working on that because we haven't gotten the preseason mm -hmm. um, game dates, so we're still working through that. Yeah, but yes, there yeah. are a little. There has to be a little bit of yeah. an adjustment. I thought y'all y'all made the media rounds. I want to say two weeks ago when y'all sat down with all the local channels. I thought y'all's best answer was where they asked about Stefan Diggs, and I think it was with Bristol. Correct? Yeah, it was with mm -hmm. Bristol, and they asked about the 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 term diva. And you said basically that you you like bringing in strong personalities. You didn't dismiss the possibility, Cal, of there being uh, disagreements, but you said that the culture was strong enough to where bringing a guy into that atmosphere is not the worst thing. How how cool is it to be able to say that? Because I, I I don't think we could have we could have said that was the case. Maybe maybe for your entire tenure. How how cool is it for you to be able to say that and not go up there and just completely dismiss the possibility and not necessarily embrace conflict, but say we're in position to where we can deal with strong personalities? Well, I think we're in a good place, you know, to do that. And I think it's reflective. And um uh, he's an extremely talented player, and I can't wait to, you know, get him here and see what see what he's gonna contribute to the team. But it goes back to, you know, Cal said, you know, last year doesn't matter, but it does, right? Mm -hmm. All of that has set the table for a culture for, you know, different types of personalities to come in. So it does matter. I think that yeah. that all did matter. And um, I think it will contribute to hopefully more success this year. So the dynamic a year ago now was uh, actually a little more than a year, but like, how is this all going to work together? You know, Nick really didn't know D'Amico, and D'Amico didn't really know Nick, and they're all they're coming together and all. Dude, it's it's beyond all expectations from the outside looking in. Uh, where are you now with that whole you two with D'Amico and Nick? It seems like it's way ahead of schedule. No, I think they're working really well, well together. I mm -hmm. think that's what we've been kind of uh, conveying to the fans, and uh, um, it continues to be that that way and. Uh, you saw it through the off season, and, mm -hmm. and uh, then Nick's ability to trade for players, you know, even in free agency period, was really smart. I thought in um, bringing in the players that uh, D'Amico wants and needs to have his mm -hmm. his vision of the team, and Nick's totally buying into that. You see them working, you know, together really well, and um, I'm excited to see the continued growth. Are you ready to? Uh... Play the Titans again. I know you kind of enjoyed uh, that sweep last year. You, <laughs> Here we go. Here calendar. we go. You know what's so sport? funny is I've seen some articles about Hannah salty about them wearing the uniforms. Who started that? Who exactly. started it wearing it against us? And then if anybody was at that game, their in in house PA mm -hmm. was instigating it. Mm -hmm. It was unbelievable, mm -hmm. but also wonderful because we <laughs> finished the story. <laughs> okay, yeah. exactly. So, she went. She went I mean, who's rice. salty here? Yeah, that's that's what I don't get. I, I kind of like that. Are you? Is that going to be something that maybe we 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 get a little bit of healthy rivalry where you know rivalry is it's good here. for the league. It's here, right? Yeah, it's good. For it's here. And, and yeah. are the, the Titans are the top rival. We're, we it seems like it kind of moves right now. Is that our top rival? Well, first they need to beat us. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's wow. not a rivalry yet. Oh, okay. Wow. So we got to go. That's how you do it. Okay. There that's you go. Look, look, right look at Cal. Cal. That ain't, that ain't one, 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 one. I was like, here's right the hot sauce. Here she goes again. Here yeah. she goes again. I want to beat all our AFC South <laughs> friends, friends and neighbors. Yeah. Twice. Beat each one of them. Absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so 
I'm Did going Figgy to... just cut that piece? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's not dumped. <laughs> 20 seconds is fast. Yeah. Not... <laughs> expect that on a clip, for sure, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so overall, on the day, what are you expecting to hear from the fans in terms of approval and everything? Uh, because, Today? Because it's not going to be universal. No. I don't, yeah. I don't think you will get universal. Mm -hmm. um, but I think as uh, we go on, I think we'll get a higher percentage. Mm -hmm. yep. I think um, it'll come down to how we do on the field at the end of the day. But yeah, I, I think this is going to go over a lot better now than it would have two years ago. And probably when you and I were playing, it yeah. was shirts versus skins. Uh, so I don't yeah. know that, you know, I, and I'm, whoever I'm won, that was the most popular, <laughs> you know. And so I don't know that I want to do that I'll now. be shirts. <laughs> but uniforms didn't really it mattered who won and that's that's what we're looking yeah to no and, and 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 you guys are gonna knock it out of the park and there's a long, long line of people out there uh, oh line. last thing um the the merchandise doesn't necessarily have to ref in terms of jerseys doesn't necessarily have to reflect the jerseys on the field like you can have a lighter blue jersey correct i've been telling people that you can have all kinds of as long as you have those colors you can do a lot have, with the merch you right? can do, do a lot with the merch right you can do a lot of different things with the merchandise. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. So we, we can get. Just to make sure creative. that, that and, and the, the shop is open right now. Correct. Yeah. Yes. And go. the home jerseys are flying hey. off the shelves, I, my I, friend. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. there we that's, go. No we way. Need to do a, we need to do a measurement on these home jerseys. Hold that. That's not a home. That's an alternate, right? <laughs> this is the all. This is my favorite. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You got the alternate. You got the Willie Anderson right there. Look at that. Yes. Uh, Look at that lovely thing right there. The large. I'm going to give to my daughter. No, I should have. I needed to bring the show. His red one. Oh, hey, yeah. Tyler. Yeah. T-Mill's in there. He's doing his he thing. Is. I think he's disappointed that there wasn't uh, full-on oiler jerseys. I think T-Mill's in that demo. He's a little upset. T-Mill, that's the NFL for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, or well, the, especially the or NFL the stanky in, in one. Nashville. The, the stanky one. <laughs> but, you know, that's just just tune in in a, in a segment or two because I want to name names that you may have or may have not uh, referenced earlier. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Fair we'll, enough. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Appreciate you. Coming up next, why Hannah says the text the Titans suck. <laughs> uh, I did not say that. Okay. You actually hey, the only time I said that's that word was when you were referencing hey, I, the jerseys. Hey, I also Ooh, didn't say all the jerseys sucked either. So so we're even now. <laughs> or not. Landry Locker, John Lopez. All right, there you go. That's Cal and Hannah joining the show. Uh about to head downtown. Enjoy the party. Cal and Hannah are going to be there. Appreciate y'all for coming through. Subscribe, like, uh, ride along. Appreciate you for coming through the locker room. Even Hannah McNair, a uh, big fan. You can tell. She was she was in here. Uh, let me know what you think of the uniforms. Uh, I don't know that the baby likes the uniform. I think she just likes looking at herself. Uh, but uh, appreciate you for coming through. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah.